Welcome, Sagittarius, to your sharper reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Okay, friends, let's see what wisdom and balance and healing you need this month. Okay. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay. What's going on with you, my friends? Soul healing. Ooh, very nice. So you've got some soul healing card coming out over here. Soul healing is, of course, talking about the soul star chakra, which is located and anchoring from the crown chakra. It's about, I think it's six inches above the crown chakra, yes. It's connected between the spiritual and physical heaven and earth, and it bridges the light of the soul into the physical body. Okay. So remembering that this is where your higher self comes in. This is where you're bridging yourself from the divine into yourself, into your human self. Um, really connecting that soul of yours with the divine, right? Um, this is where we're able to connect strongly with the guidance from the angelic realms, ascended masters and light beings that are there to support and guide our journey. Deep soul healing occurs with the chakra open and we experience a sense of inner peace and connections with the universe and all that is. Okay. And that is because why, as we always say, um, because we are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience, right? So your soul is here having a human experience, trying to gather all these pieces, learning all these things. Um, it's been here before and it says, well, you know, I was there once before and I didn't do this. So now I'm going to do that. Oh, it's going to be painstaking. It's going to hurt because anytime we... We learn something that's going to hurt, so there's going to be suffering and struggles and all that. But then we have to go back and kind of heal from that um, situation. And this is where our soul has to come in and say, okay, it's okay, though. It's okay, though. You can do this, right? Now you need to gather yourself together and allow the vibrations from the soul to, you know, heal and get to this process. Because um, the body itself, you, <laughs> do not like this. But the soul already knew it was going to happen. Right? And it's like, okay, come on, gather yourself together, let's go. You know, because now we have to get on to the next piece. We're going to learn from this piece, and we're going to go on to the next one, and that's going to hurt, and then we're going to learn not to do that again. Right? So we want to be present with the process as much as possible to allow ourselves to receive any divine guidance or messages that come through at this time to help the healing processes and help through that guidance or to help grow um, divinely. Right? So when you open up, when you open up and allow to, and feel your soul star chakra activate and create a clear and pure connection with the higher realms, this is where all the clarity really comes through, right? And the higher vibrations and really channeling in that divine light from the universe to help really deeply connect to your soul, right? As we have two yous, you yourself and then you as soul right? And it is kind of confusing in its own way, but you just have to remember that the soul is inside this place. It's kind of like an entity inside a conscious, right? Inside of a conscious awareness. And yeah, you know, if you see it from a human point of view, it's really confusing. And I think this is why a lot of people don't get it and they kind of stir away from it um, because it's kind of a hard thing to imagine, but just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there, right? In fact, those who connect know it's there because they can feel that energy coming through. And then you open up these chakras, that is your energy source, right? And then all of a sudden, boom. It's the boom effect. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on over here. on the situation is is the ew, what's that the intention right the intention from the third eye chakra right 
is this intention of behind the mask. Now, that's kind of interesting because we're talking about what is not seen doesn't mean it's not there. So it's like a masking, you know, don't mask the situation, right? So you have the consciousness coming through with a conscious lack, right? What am I consciously lacking? What am I consciously unaware of? What is hidden? And really behind the mask, it doesn't always have to be this, this flawless, um, someone's hiding something from me. It's actually just what is hidden, right? What, what is, what am I missing, right? So you can see it as there's something missing. I have a conscious lack of not understanding this situation. So then when you get into the higher divine uh, pieces of the soul star chakra, it will start unraveling what is unseen, what is unfelt. And a lot of times you might not even see it, but it's more of a feeling, right? And then you start becoming more consciously aware of the situation at hand to be able to heal from this. Um, you know, we were talking kind of about this before, Sag, um, about using the law and attraction situation of the energy. And when you're talking about the divine soul, it's talking about that energy, right? Because law and attraction is the prayers. It is, you know, the manifesting it, you know, you see what I'm saying? Um, so when you are doing such a thing, make sure that the most important thing is to not forcibly try to not think about negative things. That's actually the biggest um, issue, right? Within the soul healing, it's coming to the conscious awareness that you have this energy there to help you and that you're making the intentions clear, okay? So a lot of times when we want to get through healing and we always say, don't think negative, right? Because if you try to think, you know, not think of negative things, they want to come forcibly back at you. Um, so you don't, that's not what you want to do. The most, most important thing overall is the awareness, the conscious awareness of the situation. The awareness of you being alive, right? Like I said, you are you, right? And at this moment, focus on the sense of knowing deep within that you are alive, and then this will distance yourself naturally between the processes of thought. So when you become consciously lack of the thought, a lot of times we want to go into the past to try to heal. But in actuality, that's not the right way to do this. You're hitting up into the divine realms of what really is. And once you notice there is a difference between your mind and body, this will end the negative thoughts of pain and suffering within. Okay, no more physical suffering or mental suffering from the past aches and pains. Negative and positive thoughts are the balance within you. So you need to know how to put the dis distance between the balance of the mind and the body. So you're actually going to allow this energy to come in to say, okay, this is who I am. Remember, this is my body. If you want to remember you're alive, you can, during meditation, breathe. That will remind you you're alive. You know, listen to your heartbeat. Hold your arm, your heart, feel your heartbeat, however it is. The reason is, is because you want to understand the difference thereof. Because the unconscious mind wants to always bring back what you already made a habit of doing, right? Predictability of the outcome. So once you become aware and focus on the, you know, your breath or your heartbeat, things that you know that you could show you're alive, this then becomes the awareness that now you're going to take on and it's going to change the habits. Okay. This is going to change the habits because it needs to start by rewiring your subconscious mind. Okay. Once you start rewiring the conscious, the subconscious mind, then your subconscious mind you know, because it had a habit of only focusing on the things that you truly do not want or the problems that you have within your life. Now you're going to be refocusing on start bringing in new focus of habit of things you want and things you are that you know you are alive. So it will then redirect and become an automatic habit after a lot of practice. Because your higher self doesn't want you to do that because it's just a test. 
It's just a test for the soul to learn things that they can't learn in the divine realms. There is none of this there. Right? So behind the mask is actually unmasking the habits. Now, see, I told you in the last reading that we would get into this a little deeper. And I think that it's very important. And the only reason I'm bringing it up so much is because I did have this, like, epiphany. <laughs> right? It's like, anytime I have an epiphany, uh, spirit is really on me. I was meditating, and they were saying, but the problem is, is that you keep saying, and everyone keeps saying, I'm, I'm not even going to blame myself here. I'm going to say that every, every video you guys go to, everywhere you go, they say, don't think negative. Number one, if you didn't, you know, or, or when in meditation, here's another one for you guys. When you're in meditation, you're, you're listening to them. They're like, close your eyes and don't think. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not thinking you're in a headache. Okay. No, you're refocusing your thinking patterns on maybe if you're watching that video on those flowers or taking that walk through nature or doing things like that. Don't think about other, you know, the daily routines of life. You can't just stop thinking. Okay. You're like get a headache from heck. And I know that because I've tried it and it really does give you a bad headache. Um, there's no such thing. The mind's always going. It's a computer. It's always going. So through this epiphany that I had, getting back to that really fast, okay, I won't waste your guys' time too much, but Spirit did make me aware of, and I actually wrote it down, my friends. I'm not even kidding. Wake up and learn. It's all subconscious wired within you, wired in all of us. Right? So the epiphany was, for me, it was the what the heck moment, right? Because what they're trying to say is that everything that we're doing is ran on emotions. And I think I, I brought that up in the last video too, where everything is ran in emotions. We're running on past emotions that then do not allow us to move and grow for manifestation because they're, therefore we're always running on those snapshots of kind of a picture of, uh, things that went wrong within our life, right? <clears throat> and if you bring it up and start talking about it, it takes another snapshot, right? And then therefore, now it's talking about it again. So therefore, it's always keeping it alive. So now you want to put yourself into a present moment, thinking about what you want in the future and telling yourself, thank you for the things for in the future, right? That way you know you're bringing it to you because you're talking like you already have it. When you talk about things you already have, it makes it to where it will be. Same within the past. If you keep talking about that past pain, you're not healing from the past pain. You're bringing it back to the awareness. Very empowering thing, though, because when I went back to certain uh, places like Abraham Hicks and stuff like that, I realized... They're only talking it from a one point of view. Um, they're not talking it from a overall point of view of how the brain really works, right? So, think it through. Wow. Okay, so New Moon in Gemini says, think it through. Think it through. Think about what it is that you consciously want and how you're going to heal from that. And think it through about what steps and what you've learned through this situation. So let's see also what the thinking through says really fast, my friends. New moon in Gemini. I don't have these 100%. <clears throat> you know I don't use them very often. So those of you who watch all the time, they only come up once, once a month or so. Plus they're newer cards. A positive outcome lies ahead. See, there it is. However, to take this opportunity from the others, the other side, right? The ethers, ethers, ethers. Okay. And make it real, you need a positive mindset. So you're going to take it from the ethers. Now, once again, that's the divine spots, right? On some level, you already know how to get what you want. Use your smarts. Think it through. Look for the signposts about what to do next. Ask, what am I expecting? Focus on positive expectations. Expectations attract. If you're having doubts, talk to someone. Make a list of your goals. 
There's a way through everything. Use your mind and your words to help others see things your way as well if you're having a hard time. Doesn't mean they have to agree, but we all have a creative mind. I will, you know. So if you're feeling blocked within some kind of relationship or something or some past pain, you know, and if you have somebody who can talk about it, even if, like I said, even if they're not agreeing, a lot of times just having them listen or um, maybe they even have a little bit of expertise, you know, taking advice. I wouldn't go to anybody who you know is not going to be on your side. That's just going to be a downplay. Don't ever do that. You know. I mean, if you know that they might disagree a little bit with, within the situation, but actually have good advice to give back, that's fine. But if it's just going to be all negative, forget it. I say stay away. So it's definitely going to be about reflecting, my friends, and really looking at it for your own victory and making sure that you keep the victory within yourself. Because right now it's showing that the victories that, that you don't have, the places that you are now, could be full of anxiety, full of sorrows, Things that are hidden behind that mask that you need to bring out into the light so that you can heal and have that victory. Um, this is actually going to have the opportunity to move forward and to grow in the places that you need to grow. You have the resources that are already built within yourself. Please understand you hold the key. And the places that you feel like you don't hold the key, that's why you have the divine there to open it up to say, it's okay. Because we're here to help you open up that door. Um, so if you do feel like you're missing something, meditation and, you know, Things of this nature are there. The biggest key within yourself is your own higher self. It knows all. It's just getting to how do I get there. This, I think, this is the biggest piece for everyone. And I think this is where that intuition that I had um, and this epiphany that I had was more of a kind of wake up thing that was kind of like, but they can't get there or they're having a hard time finding it. You know, because when the block gets blocked, sometimes it gets so blocked, it's hard to open. It's hard to find that key. Like, you keep saying it's there, but where the hell is it? Hopefully, write down your dreams, because hopefully the more I'm talking about it and you're thinking about it, it will come through dreams. When you have a crazy dream, especially crazy vivid dreams, write it down. See what the archetype is so that you can figure out what the key is. This will help you move along. Okay? Because, yes, some of you will actually get it within the dream state. Um, whether it's a meditative state or just dreaming at night, okay, coming, no matter what, it's going to be coming through that subconscious mind, and then it's going to be gathered in, and then you will consciously become aware, okay, it's almost like for a lot of things, I understand it's like putting a puzzle together when it comes to this type of scenario, but we have to put the puzzle together, you know, if we really want to do something truly about it, right, and you obviously do, otherwise you wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> and I wouldn't be here if I didn't truly want you to do so. And I'm trying to give you as many opportunities to help out within the situation. And I feel like as more as I keep going, I will be inspired. I feel I will be inspired to do my job and really get to the higher places to be able to help and heal and learn. As, you know what I mean? As much as I possibly can to help you. So, you know, I'm here learning just as much as you are. Okay, guys, so let's see what's going on. Last card. Yeah, really taking off. It's almost like once you understand the situation at hand and you really start getting a hold of it, it's something you're never going to want to look go. You're never going to want to look past, you know, what you were doing before because now it's going to become, like it said, that habit, right? It's going to become habit forming. You're going to really be encouraged and really take a stand within the situation. Even if it has to be a creative one, um, you know, to get yourself to a place, that's fine. Creativity is a beautiful thing. Um, you know, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're getting to where you need to be, right? And I just want to show you because I seen it at the bottom. This way you can get to the powerful three within yourself. But a lot of this reading is also the powerful four within yourself because we really talk about mind, body, emotions, and spirit. So... Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, because I'm as I'm learning more, especially this week, ever since that, I've really come to the point that this is a lot of it is actually based on the emotion that we're holding. Okay. Okay, my friends, and that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.